everyone today I'm back in Homestead and uh, we're gonna be uh, continuing today with um, a couple of stuff um, let me just fill in this hole first because it's it's here and it looks ugly I think um, it's a, a past creeper explosion oh Jesus that was pretty scary um, so I reckon we can fill that in and then we're gonna move on to doing other stuff so in the previous episode uh, I've sort of dabbled with the uh, the kill thing um, and uh, that's supposed to be like a, um, a, a furnace for pottery and uh, I didn't quite figure it out uh, so I looked it up and uh, I found out that I actually built it the wrong way uh, so we're gonna fix that today hopefully um, these torches are all fine so basically what I did wrong is uh, I just put it on its side rather than or I should put it on its side uh, rather than the current orientation so the way I've seen it is uh, there's like a a gap in between the the hibachi and the kiln and then there's the um, there's the kiln on top so basically uh, I think I'm gonna need some more cobblestone uh, blocks uh, I've also um, in the meantime uh, made some more uh, crafted some more of those nets for the uh, whatever the things are called in the water so that was to get more clay uh, and hopefully we're gonna get some uh, at some point there's a cobble uh, we're gonna just uh, make this look a bit nicer and not just floating in the air uh, because I don't really like and it wouldn't even work that way in this mod pack because everything falls uh, so that's pretty cool uh, so I think we're gonna have like four like pillars and then we're gonna have the bricks on top uh, now it's like actually it's like this so basically like that and then let's just get rid of this then uh, where how will I access this uh, let's put that back I think I'm gonna put it more towards this end here um, from which direction do you want to access it I think from the back because I've got uh, both of these things here so if I get rid of this row here and move the pillars a bit um, there we go that should work and then get rid of this perfect and now let me just nerd pull up here because I've just um, I got down for some reason um, right so the way this is supposed to be I think is it's got like a wall at the back um, and then I'm missing a piece of brick apparently so let's let's get another piece of brick uh, and hopefully this works I, I have not tested it before so I literally have a, got no idea and this mod, uh, the whatever it's called, I think it's called like better with mods or something. It doesn't really have a lot of information. Uh, so hopefully this is going to work. Let's just put that on top there. Okay. Now you're supposed to put the, the, um, the pottery in that hole, I think. Uh, and that's how it works, maybe. Um, so I guess we're gonna find out um, right so I've also reconfigured the bellows they work now somewhat I think so that so that should be alright um, so yeah uh, let's see if this all works now let's fix this lever here and then this should be working yeah there goes the bellows there it is Uh, 
Now I'm not sure if this uh, Hibachi needs anything else to to burn. I literally have got no idea. Um, so that's the thing. At least the bellows work. Uh, right. So we I think we just need a piece of pottery, um, and that should probably work. Uh, so let's go and see if there's any more clay. Also, let's just check out the quest log quickly. Um, there it is. Uh, okay. So there's the kiln. Uh, okay, so 3x3x2 three by three by vertically. With a gap in the middle. Okay. A, a stoked hibachi. Uh, do I know how to stoke one? Um, it will create a constant flame will give a redstone signal. Oh, okay. Right, so apparently it needs, it needs just a redstone signal. That's pretty easy uh, to achieve. Uh, we're just gonna need a redstone torch in that case. Okay, so that should probably make it work. Um, and it's gonna be pretty cool if it does. Um, I think it has like a, a, it should have like a blue sort of flame. What is up with, why can't I make a redstone torch? Hello? Oh, of course it's like that. Anyway, let's just put this near the, the bellows or the um, hibachi. Uh, so I think we're gonna put it like right here. Yes, perfect. Let's turn it on now and see if it works. Nope. Okay. Maybe it needs like, um, like a proper redstone signal. Uh, like with uh, a bit of redstone on the ground. I literally... I've got no idea. I guess I'm just gonna test this until it works at some point, maybe. Okay, let's see now. If you put this here and then torch it up. That works! Beautiful! Okay. Nice. Perfect. Okay. I'm happy with this. That works. Right. Um, so we just need some uh, some clay now, apparently. Does this need a redstone signal as well, the turntable? Because it, it doesn't want to spin. Let's see. Maybe it does, actually. Uh, where is it? There it is. Uh, Rampart mechanical energy... Yeah, that's all. Uh, maybe like, maybe just like a lever would work. I don't know. Let's let's just test that out. Maybe it's gonna work that way. Lever. Oh, I can't really. Hmm. Yeah, that's not a thing, is it? I don't know. Maybe it just needs needs a block of clay on top. Let's just turn this off for now. Um, right. Let's put the redstone back in here because I'm not gonna need it. Uh, and check the strainers for some clay. Uh, there they are. Okay, there's two. I'm not sure how much I need. I need like a block probably, so. Uh, that's nine. Oh, yeah. Should have enough for a block there. Perfect. Let's just craft them into one, and then we're gonna try the turntable. Right. Oh, is it not? Is it four per block? I literally. Oh yeah, it's four. Okay, fine. So I guess we can have two. Uh, and save the rest. Okay. Right. So I guess we just put this on to the thing. I'm gonna need um, like a staircase. 
unfortunately, but I think that should be fine. Let's just have like a nice little staircase. Put that on top and see how that works, if at all. Um, oh! How do I stop it? Oh shit. It already... Okay. Now let's just put a lever on this one here. Right, that's perfect. Okay. Uh, that was one one too many. So this this is an unfired planter, which I don't need. I need uh, a... something else. Okay, so I need to watch it. And when it turns, turn that off. Perfect. Okay, we have an unfired crucible. Very good. Oh shit. Jesus. Okay, that's very good. Uh, let's try and shove this in here and see if it works. Mm. I'm not sure. It probably says in the quest book how this is done. Let's see. Uh, we got on fire crucible, fire crucible, right. The crucible is used in the production of so forth steel. Uh, okay, it must be powered by a stoked hibachi, okay. A single bellows can apply the, to multiple hibachi saving resources, what? Alright. So how do you, how do you fire it then? It, it doesn't actually say. Maybe it says here. Um, okay, we did that. No, it doesn't actually say how you fire it. It just says how you, how you make the unfired one. Right. Hmm. Right. Oh. Well, that was off, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I guess I'm gonna turn that on as well and see if that helps. Uh, one of the gearboxes was off. Uh, okay, so if I manage to get this fire crucible, um, that would be quite an achievement, I believe. Let's turn this on. Okay, and then turn this on. So this works. Um, but this doesn't seem to be. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that works actually. That doesn't say anything. Um, we have to place the unfired item in the middle. I've done that. I don't know. It's very vague. Mm, I probably, I probably didn't build this right. Mm. Let's see. Stoked Hibachi needs to be played underneath to maintain enough heat to fire your items. Hmm. I don't know. It doesn't seem to be working, so that's a thing. I'm not sure. If I put it directly on top of the Hibachi, um, it might work? I'm, I'm not sure though. I uh, literally I have no idea. Okay, uh, right. Let's just turn this off for now uh, and see what else we can do. Uh, first of all, I think we need to eat something. I uh, got some steamed peas here, and oh, should have some more stuff upstairs. I think I'm gonna have to make some food. Um, Got some more seaweed as well. Okay. 
Let's see what we can make in here. We can make some beef jerky. And we can make some garden soup, some fruit salad. Uh, that's a large meal as well. That's nice. Okay. Okay. Let's just eat this jerky. And then I'll have some garden soup as well. Perfect. Filled me right up. Also gonna have some water. And replace my bottle as well. With a filled one. That should be nice. And uh, there we go. And also, I'm gonna put this unfired planter in here because I currently have no use for it. Uh, but maybe in the future. Right. Let's check out some other quests then. Um, if there's any other ones. Okay, steel anvil. Uh, interesting. Uh, so, let's see how one steel anvil is made. Uh, I have some steel, but not, not a whole bunch. Okay, so it's a whole bunch of steel ingots. Okay, let's see. Um, that's like 27 and 4 is 31 ingots for the steel anvil. Um, I don't even have that many ingots of, of iron, so that's not gonna happen just yet. Uh, speaking of iron, let's check this um, smeltery. There's three ingots in there. Okay. Um, so that's the thing. There's some nugs in here, but not a whole bunch. Uh, I'm definitely gonna have to go mining at some point quite soon uh, if I want to keep up my reserve of iron. Okay, so oh, that quest is not gonna happen uh, quite s that soon. Whoa, what the hell is going on? Hello? Was that just like torches going out? Yeah, I think that was actually up in the tower. Right, um, can we do another quest? Let's see. So learn. Uh, okay, so this is uh, also for the kiln. Um, why doesn't it actually say how this is made? It would be cool. Let's see. Maybe it says here. Oh, okay. Um, I'm not sure what this actually means. Does it have to be in this configuration? Like without the corners? That would mean like something like this, basically. Just like a, a cross with a, a hole in the middle. Um, I'm not sure how that's gonna work, if at all. I reckon I probably need to um, bring this down one one block. Uh, let's just turn this on, shall we? I'm I'm mostly positive that the bellows are not probably working the best. Um, I'm not sure if it shows with the uh, with the thing or not. If it's working properly, I literally have no idea. Hmm. Is this? I don't know. Let's just um, let's just try something. If I put it down this direction, okay. So that thing is now pointed that way, uh, but I'm not sure. Uh, 
I'm not sure if it works. Uh, I think it's not it's not properly configured still, and I don't know how 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 it needs to be uh, because it, it used to work perfectly well, but now it's just like weird and wonky. I'm I'm not sure how that how that happened. Um, anyway, I'm not sure the kiln is is happening. Let's just uh, can we just have like a a lever here instead so that I can just turn it on and off that would be pretty cool okay let's just turn this off first of all okay and then uh, I think I wanna move the whole thing down one block And we're gonna do the full thing. So with all the blocks. There we go. That seems nice. Alright, let's see now if this works. So if we turn that on. And then put this in there. Um, maybe something's gonna happen. I, I have no idea. There doesn't seem to be anything happening. So yeah. Uh, I'm gonna have to look this up again. Um, right. Anyway, uh, can we do anything else currently? I'm not actually sure we can. Uh, maybe we can look at some other quest lines. Uh, Industrial Revolution. Ooh, interesting. I am now apparently in the Industrial Age, which is pretty cool. Uh, that's nice. Okay. What the fuck was that? That was weird. Let's just turn this off because I don't know how how the hell that works anyway. A projector, okay. Um, interesting. Uh, whatever this mod is, engineer's manual. Uh, okay. I reckon we can do that. Uh, projector. I think it's time to move into the industrial era. Um, there it is. There's a bunch of them as well. Jesus. Oh, that's just immersive engineering. Okay, that's cool. Uh, projector. Yes. Okay. So it uses some planks, a, sto a torch, and some uh, glass panes or one glass pane. Does it need to be? Oh, it accepts any pane of glass. Okay. I think I can just uh, craft that quickly and I think that's gonna be probably enough for this episode. I didn't do much be because I, I'm pretty useless at this as you probably can tell. Uh, let's see, I should have some glass around maybe. Yeah, perfect. I'm gonna make some, I'm gonna make some glass panes. Um, perfect. And then we're gonna craft uh, this projector thing. There we go. Perfect. And we're gonna shove that back in here. Uh, perfect. Okay. That has opened creating energy. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm gonna read that at some point. Transmitting energy. Oh, so these are the cool wires. Uh, these are pretty nice. Um, they're like um, sky wires. They're pretty cool. And a capacitor. Okay, that's gonna be pretty useful, I think. Uh, let's see if we can use the projector for anything. How do I use it? Uh, does it say in the quest book? I'm not sure actually. Um, 
engineer's manual right how do I did I get one no I have to make one probably uh, oh I probably got one actually yeah probably when I built the thingy hmm I'm not sure where that would be though if I even got one at any point hmm there's some matchboxes there or there's some matches there, I should say. Uh, I can't see an, en an engineering manual though, I don't think. No. Is it in the in the random chest over there? That's, that's the good question. No, there's just 10 levers in there. Okay. Um, let's just, let's see how it's made. Uh, is it here? Yes, that's the one. Let's see. Oh, so it's a book and a lever. Perfect. Uh, I, I maybe should have some books lying around, possibly, but maybe not actually. Uh, I have a feeling I raided some from somewhere, uh, but I could be mistaken. How is it made? Paper, tanned leather, or blank patterns and string. Um, do I have any paper? I have three paper and one cut leather. That should be perfecto. Perfecto mundo. Um, that's the one. Beautiful. And there's ten levers in the stupid box over there. But I can't be asked to go get one, so I'm just gonna craft one. Here we go. Perfect. Okay, so I guess um, that's perfect. I think we're gonna explain uh, and explore uh, this stuff in the future. Uh, probably ne in the next episode. This is pretty cool. Um, I think it's probably enough for today, though. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I didn't do much at all just messed around just pretty much as always uh, I still hope you enjoyed this uh, if you liked it you can press the like button and subscribe to my channel and uh, I will see you next time